My name is Charlie Malpass. I'm from New Hampshire on the seacoast and I live in Truckee, California. I went to San Francisco Art Institute um, and then I actually studied in Greece and Italy for three years. When I studied in Greece, that was a huge inspirational journey for me. I prefer to do murals. I also do oil paintings paintings on canvas, but murals in acrylic are my favorite right now. All my underpainting is done with acrylic, and then I'll move on to oils. That's the medium I learned in school. With acrylic, you can get the crazy strokes and the, the fluidity with water, and you wipe it away, and make, it's just the energy, more energy in acrylic for me. And then you do the fine tuning with the oil. In elementary school, I was always drawing, and my mom knew, okay, she's gotta be in every kind of art class that elementary, middle school, high school has to offer. But I didn't know if I was gonna go to art school until my older sister went to art school. My sister and I have done a bunch of collaborations. She's She has a similar style where she likes jungle, exotic, environment forward pieces. And yeah, we've, we've worked together in the past. We did a mural together in Boston. Yeah, she's probably my main source of inspiration. <laughs> Murals are almost more fun <laughs> than just work on canvas because I can go big and it's more of a wow factor for people to see it at such a big scale and I can bring my audience in to the creative process versus a piece on canvas where someone buys it to put in their home and they don't know how it was made. <laughs> Maybe that's a different story though. Maybe that's why they like it. So the standard body is what I use for almost layering because it's a little bit, not thinner, but it's got more fluid. So I was able to do cover big areas. I could add a little bit of water and get all my surface area covered. Heavy body I use for details, the finishing touches. And I also painted on shoes with them, and that was great because it didn't soak into the fabric, it stuck on top. So in Oakland, I, they wanted me to create a space for people to hang out in. So I basically painted a bunch of vibrant flowers, exotic flowers and palm leaves, and one was inside in the gym. And as you go outside, it continued all over the brick and onto the courtyard. Working on brick, the standard body was great for that because I didn't have to worry about painting and it falling. With water, you can, you can make it go so much larger and you can do layer by layer and it dries so quick and you don't have to worry about mixing while working from layer to layer because it dries quick. It's perfect for cleanup. I don't have to throw my brushes away. So yeah, there's a lot more waste when it comes to oil paint for me. I just think it also not only excites me to recycle, but it you can put that message in your art and influence other people to recycle. So before I knew what I was getting, I thought it was going to be a tube of chunky glop with color. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to be so either silky or full body or pure. I mean, it was just pure pigment, which I didn't I wasn't expecting, so I was pleasantly surprised. <laughs> if I'm creating with the recycled paint, others will see it and know they can solve the same problem, and hopefully everybody will 
buy this paint and decide to do the same because you are solving a problem, a big problem, which a lot of people don't know about. It almost adds more value to the art and you can share a message through the art that says, look, I'm keeping our environment green. Like I can make these massive florals and massive leaves and that's the message I am recycling and this is a symbol of that by using the material.